Hello, this is Misha. In this video, I will show you a game played by Leonard Stein against former world champion Vasily Smyslov. This game was played in 1972, and Stein started out with c4, beginning with the English opening. Knight to f6. Here we have the Anglo variation. Knight c3, e6. E5 would have been best, controlling the most squares in the center. Knight to f3. E4 would have also been acceptable. B6. Opening space for developing the light square bishop. E4. And we have the queen's Indian formation on the board. Bishop to b7. Queen to e2. Bishop to b4. Aiming at pinning the knight. If d3 or d4 is played in order to develop the dark square bishop. e5. Knight to g8. The best move. 4. The knight can get back developed if knight to e7. d4. d6. Opposing the e5 pot and trying to open the file for the black queen to control. a3. Attacking the bishop and forcing exchange with the knight on c3. Bishop takes on c3 check. B takes on c3. Knight to e7. Getting the knight back into the game with the goal of going to f5. h4. Trying to get the rook on h3 and possibly wrecking black's king side structure. Knight to d7. h5. Now, if h6 is played, then the pawn will achieve its goal of messing up black's king side structure. Bishop takes on f3. Exchanging the knight and the bishop. The bishop was a stronger piece than the knight, and it was controlling an important diagonal. Queen takes on f3. D takes on e5. Instead of recapturing, Leonard Stein did h6. Marching the pawn into the uncatalled king side. G takes on h6. Bad move. G6 would have been better. And h6 a lot earlier would have also been very helpful. Bishop takes on h6. Stopping king side castling. E takes on d4. Bishop to g7. Attacking the rook. Rook to g8, attacking the bishop, but giving up the h7 pawn. Rook takes on h7, then defending the bishop at the same time. Knight to f5, attacking the bishop once with the knight and with the rook. Bishop takes on d4. The bishop is a taboo, for if knight takes on d4, then queen takes on f7, checkmate. c5, saying no to the bishop. g4, attacking the knight. c takes on d4. g takes on f5. Knight and bishop are now exchanged. e5, not taking, but advancing e pawn. Queen to d5, threatening checkmate on f7. Rook to f8, defending. C takes on d4. Rook to c8, a hopeful way of defense by moving rook c7, and possibly later recapturing the c4 pawn. Rook to d1, defending the pawn, so that when the queen moves, the black queen will be on the same file as the rook. Queen to e7, creating the possibility of a discovered check. Bishop to g2, developing, and when the queen moves, controlling the main diagonal. Rook to g8, attacking the bishop. Queen to b7, attacking the rook while keeping an eye on the bishop. Rook takes on c4, taking the c4 pawn. Discovered check by e takes on d4 would be better. d takes on e5, 
Queen takes an e5, check. King to f1. Queen to b5. Hoping for a discovered check. When the rook moves with a check, winning the queen. King to g1. Queen to c6. Initiating queen exchange. Please pause and find the best move for white. Queen takes on c6 was played. One of the best moves. However, there was an even better one. And if you guessed rook to h8, then that is also correct. For if rook to h8, queen takes on b7. Rook takes on g8, check. King to e7. Bishop takes on b7. Rook to c7. And white will be a rook up. So, queen takes on c6. Rook takes on c6. Rook to h8. If rook takes on h8, then bishop will take on c6, pinning the knight and winning it next move. Rook to g6. Look was going to be lost either way. If he got away on the c file, then the other one was going to be captured. F takes on g6. Rook takes on h8. Bishop to c6, pinning the knight and winning it next move. At this point, Smyslov resigned. Here is a possible continuation. Rook to g8. Bishop takes on d7, check. King to e7, bishop to f5, f takes on g6, rook to d7, check, king to f6, bishop to d3, rook to a8, and bishop to e4. I think we can stop here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more chess.